A flick of the tail, a turn of the head, and that stoic stance is all it takes for this white-tailed deer to come to life. It all starts uh, with a mold here. It's second life, that is, and it begins in the custom robotic wildlife workshop. This is a lame one, so this one's going to have a robotic tail and a robotic head. Owner Brian Wolschlegel and his family all right, let's put this on, guys. Have been constructing robotic taxidermy for about 20 years. Gil and I started basically with just a piece of a little servo motor and a piece of fishing line that went from the ear to the tail and made, you know, if the ear moved, the tail would move. Um, but obviously it's evolved over the years. He's created moving animals for movies, commercials, and businesses, but his main clients are wildlife law enforcement agencies throughout the U.S. and Canada. As the poachers advance and they'll get, learn more, we do like the leg movement or we'll do in the tail. We've had just recently had an officer a year or so ago ask me for one that would poop. So we got a little auger system, the tail goes up, you name it, we do it. He says poaching causes a lot of problems. Even if you're not a hunter, the public is put at risk. If they shoot off the roadways and it misses and it heads into somebody's house. And um, like I said this morning, I just saw the news that some lady got hit in the leg through her apartment window. Now these get sold all over the nation for law enforcement, but not often in Wisconsin, and that's because the laws are different. Most states, when they deploy a decoy, will say, uh, attempted to take a wild animal or a facsimile of, so they can find them for the, you know, the major fines and $3,000 or whatever. In Wisconsin, they don't do that. They don't recognize the decoy as a wild animal. So the guys mostly will get, you know, shooting from a roadway or trespassing. He says the manpower and the cost also contribute to a lack of DNR business, but law enforcement elsewhere tell him the bots are effective. I just had a guy from Nova Scotia that took his out of the box, and the first guy came down the road, shot it, hit it in the neck, and pretty much destroyed all of this. So um, he kept it out there, and another guy came by, and the head wasn't even moving, still shot it again. Poachers generally don't take a small buck off the side of the road. Generally, they're going to shoot that bigger buck. So sportsmen, the guys that are out there hunting, the guys that put their time in and put their stands up and do it right, should be very upset with this. 